Immigration is probably the most controversial issue in Britain today. It tops the list of public concerns in any opinion poll and played a role in why 52% of Britons voted to leave the EU earlier this year. These concerns are understandable, as over the past few decades, our politicians have done an astonishingly poor job of making the case for free movement. As a result, migrants have found themselves blamed for all sorts of problems, from rocketing house prices to unemployment. But many of these criticisms are based on exaggerations or are just fundamentally wrong. Migrants contribute to raising productivity, often taking jobs that local workers can't or won't do and therefore aren't necessarily competing with them at all. It's also plain wrong to claim that there's a fixed number of jobs in the economy. When immigrants spend their wages here in the UK, they help to create jobs for the people who produce the goods and services they're using. That's why our new report, Out Today, calls on the government to scrap the arbitrary migration target and maintain free movement with the EEA bloc, whatever our future relationship with the EU may be. We can also establish two-way free movement deals with counterpart nations like Australia, Canada and the USA to discourage protectionist domestic instincts and raise the political cost of erecting future barriers. Fundamentally, immigrants enrich British society from an economic and cultural perspective that pans out well for them and for all of us too.